How's it going, beer drinkers? We're the Brew Bros. This is Ed. I'm Tim. Welcome to the show. So, Brew Bros is our new channel dedicated to home brewing and all things beer. We're going to be doing brew days. Uh, we've already done one on a milk stout, uh, which is developing at the moment. You can see part one and two already. They're available. Um, a milk stout that we've uh, we've done two batches. One is, is a straight milk stout, and then we've also got various infusions. Is that the right word? Infusion? You told me not to say anything. No, go for it. Say something. <laughs> is infusion yeah. the right word? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, various infusions. Gingerbread. Coffee, gingerbread. Yeah. Home um, baked. Yeah, espresso uh, filter coffee. Yeah. Be interesting. More of an experiment. Be tasting those in a few weeks. Mm. Uh, and we'll be looking at equipment, we'll be looking at um, testing equipment, testing new equipment, um, where to buy this equipment from if, you, if you're fairly new to home brewing. Uh, we'll be looking at making some of your own equipment. Um, Ed's had some, uh, some, some trial and error and come up with some pretty, uh, some, some pretty good systems, haven't you? Yeah, you yeah, 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 I'd say so, yeah. I mean, you're not dead, so... Uh, no, that's well, a... So far, so good, two years in. So, yeah? Yeah, yeah, two years right. in. So, um, We'll be, yeah, we're we'll looking at homebrew techniques like uh, kegging, canning, carbonation. Mm -hmm. uh, sanitizing, cleaning, yeah, the brewing processes that I use anyway. Um, bottling. So each their own bottling, yeah, kegging. You said that? Yeah, you said that. I think I'm going to done. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing some beer tastings. We've already done um, a Speedway tasting, which is available now as well, which is a... Which, which was good fun. Mm. Um, we're gonna be doing some brewery visits. We've got a we've got a network of uh, four or five uh, uh, micro breweries that we can visit, and one pretty big brewery as well. Mm. Um, so we'll be uh, those will be coming up too. We'll be interviewing the brewers and uh, and, and seeing how they go about their business. Mm. Uh, we got a we got a few guest brew bros as well. Uh, we've got our Tanzanian correspondent. Um, who else have we got? We can name them. Uh, yeah, our Tanzanian yeah. Uh, correspondent G or Godfrey. Um, our Welsh correspondent, yeah, Richard Bryars from Cardiff. Yeah, yeah, he's um, he's looking forward to getting stuck in. Um, we also we should also mention our, our partner in crime, um, the elusive Josh Hunt. Yeah, Mr. Josh Hunt. Yeah, co-brewer. Co love you, Josh. Brewer. Love your work. Is he co-head brewer? He's kind of like my sous chef. <laughs> Is he? Okay, so Josh, we'll be seeing him at some point in the next I don't know three or four years. You know, see how he goes. <laughs> Photo on the screen so you can uh, so you can um, recognise him when you see him. Um, we're going to be doing some bar visits, hopefully at the moment. Obviously, with uh, with Coroni knocking around, it's quite it's quite difficult to, to get out. Yeah, but yeah. We, we've got a few favourite bars, one of which is Amsterdam. That we're hoping to visit again, mm. uh, where they've got 160, 170 beers on. Uh, we visited a few years ago, so hoping to to get up to some of those. Mm. Um, we're based in Dorset, UK, so we're, we you know there's there's, there's there's some micro breweries down this way, down Paul Bournemouth. We're hoping to check them out too, um, and a bit of humour. <laughs> humour is important. <laughs> what you say? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, all the way we're gonna have some some laughs. Some laughs, some laughs. Yeah, laughs. Uh, yeah. yeah there will be some laughing about. So I apologise if you're um, if you're a bit dry in the humour department. If you if you are, you might want to jog on. Um, if you if you like a bit of humour, stick around. This is the place for you. Ed is the uh, is the brains of the operation. I, I've. I've come into it fairly recently, but Ed and, and, and also I Josh. Go, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> well, I'm still I'm still learning. Uh, Josh, our other brew bro who is not here. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah, you've been doing it for what two years? Yeah, just over two years. I think July 2018 we started. It's now what November. Very specific. Specific. You want to send your research? Yeah. No. I just remember that day. It was a great day. It was a good day. It's happy memories. Uh, of exploding uh, exploding barrels and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Which yeah. we'll come on to on a, on a blue yeah, The first batch was not great. So um, where did you learn um, what you've learned? I was chatting with the co-head brewer, uh, Josh, Josh, who we mentioned earlier, I think. Um, we just Once or twice. We could do for a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. And we talked about brewing beer, how we, we used to do it when we were kids, when we were about 18 years old. No, probably younger than that, actually. But that's another story. Oh, we're brothers, by the way, in, in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, uh, we figured that out. Yeah. By the Obviously, cranium. The, the younger one, clearly. And Boulder. <laughs> well, so sorry, carry on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, um, we we decided about yeah two and a half years ago that we wanted to get into brewing beer for a bit of fun, really. And good beer is fairly hard to come by. The, the kind of beer styles that we liked is quite difficult to come by, and they're very very well. They're pretty expensive. Um, and also the challenge of brewing what we beers that we already liked and making them a bit better as well. 
if we can, mm -hmm. if that was possible. Uh, so yeah, we've been discussing it. And I bought a book called Beer Craft by John Finch. That was the first started off the local supermarkets on offer for five quid. So I'd, I'd give it a go. Yeah, Look. Dykes. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Dykes of Stallbridge. Yeah, your work, great guys. <laughs> um, and, uh, and that was explain it, it, it kind of appealed because it's explained in the most simplistic terms how to brew beer very very basic very well written lots of clear diagrams and it was like the perfect book to start with i think it was by john finch who started um i put myself on the spot and i can't remember they uh, like a barbecue food restaurant there's one in bath i can't remember what they're called anyway uh and then that then after that i moved on to another one uh it was called brew by james morton uh i think he was on master chef a few years ago I thought you were going to say YouTube, like, obviously no, YouTube no, no. more recently, presumably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I've only bought two books, uh, Craft, uh, Beer Craft, sorry, and Brew by James Morton. Um, Brew by James Morton goes into a hell of a lot more detail. It's really, really thorough. He's obsessed with yeast as well. Uh, he's, I think you have to be, don't you? Other, yeah, yeah. And his other passion is um, bread making. Yeah, okay. So Which is really convenient. <laughs> yeah, so... That could be both, a good fit for us. Let's do a bread channel as well. One step at a time. Bread and brew. <laughs> Um, yeah, so both obviously require yeast, uh, and then sort of YouTube really, and the, and the internet, the old World Wide Web. <laughs> obviously, we uh, you know we fully expect the brew bros, you know, over the next you know three to six months, will uh, inspire a whole new generation of brewers and home brewers to do their thing hmm. and to uh, take it to the next level. Hmm. We'll get back to you on that soon. Hmm. Um, so. New home brewers, um, what would you say, if people are watching this who have never really home brewed before, but they've always thought about it and so on, how much they need to spend, uh, where, where should they start? Um, we got our Watching first... our videos, obviously. Yeah, of course. Our, yeah. our first yeah. brew day Do video. after that, though? I mean, yeah, after that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we got our first kit on Beer Hawk, and they've kind of moved away from home brewing now. They're more about selling mix, mixed cases of beer lots of hard to find beers mm -hmm. online uh they moved away from home brewing though but they they i just kind of happened upon a kit that they did for about 50 quid where you got um a fermenting bucket a bottling bucket quid um, is a uh, slang for great british pounds yes pound sterling yeah. for our, this, this uh, for our american global. beer bros this is gonna go global i'm sure they <laughs> obviously straight away that's the, whole, that's the whole thing about youtube isn't it um and yeah a little uh a little sort of boiling uh boiling kettle uh, this is, you know, the most basic equipment really. That you just use on your hob. To get started. Yeah. We use it on your hob in your kitchen. And then we bought a, we've only done one extract brew and this was it. Um, so extracts where all the hard work of the mashing is kind of done for you. So you get this big syrupy liquid. They've done all the mashing for you. You mm -hmm. just get the syrupy liquid. You pour it in there, dilute it with water, boil it up, throw your hops. You know, I can handle that by the sound of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll do another video on that. <laughs> um, That'd be quite Good, that would be a good video. That's, a, that's another idea. Yeah. Um, so where where would you say the art is in 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 homebrew? Obviously, there's been a lot of trial and error on the way. Yeah, this you is, know explosions. Um, yeah, horrendous rancid beer. Yeah, there's just so many variables. Um, there's a lot of stuff to take. There's so many different ways of doing it. Um, as hopefully the comment section on all these videos will sort of suggest. There's just Obviously, I do it the way that I think is best at the moment, but hopefully over time that will evolve and yeah. I get better and better at it. And, and we're going to learn things from this channel as well. Like that, you know, that there's people on YouTube that can that can can share advice with us on how they do things, and we'll 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 trial how you do it as well. Yeah. If you're nearby, you'll fancy a trip, come and come and brew with us as well. Yeah. And hopefully, um, along that journey, we'll we'll have a few laughs. Yeah, <laughs> that comes into <laughs> it again. What about um? Uh, but the art, though, I mean, you, you mentioned um, sanitising your, your equipment, which is, is, is very important. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, you can't, um, I mean, there's one thing's cleaning it, and then the next thing, you, you've got to make sure everything's totally, certainly after the boil phase, you've got to make sure everything's as, um, as, as sanitised as it possibly can be. Right. I'll go as far as to say sterile. That's, some, that's pretty difficult to get at home, but certainly sanitised. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and like yeast and... Uh, uh, I mean, I've I've got pretty limited exposure to to, to yeast, um, but they <laughs> that sounds really strange. Um, but yeah, like yeast. It, it, but it seems to me though that that that, that yeast is is a hugely important um, part of the process. Like one of the reasons why Belgian beer is so so well respected. Yeah, is there is there craft with yeast? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's craft in how you handle it, how you sort of cultivate it. Um, there are different types of yeast. You get dried yeast, which is very easy to deal with, but um, 
it's something that I moved away from early, fairly early on. Mm -hmm. Now I use um, sort of wet yeast, which I can you kind of reuse it again and again. And We're going to talk about suppliers and, and, and where we buy all this stuff from as, uh, as, as we go along in other videos. Mm -hmm. um, so what about so far your biggest mistake? Uh, biggest mistake. What stands be, out as being the biggest mistake that you've you've made oh, so far? It's, it's easy to yeah. The, the the biggest mistake was batch zero zero one. The very first was, one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was a um a a porter, a sweet porter, and it was an extract kit, and it was an offer. I think because it was out of date, I didn't actually check. I didn't think to check at the time. Um, and so like I said earlier on, you know, we boiled it all up, threw the hops in. It was all going well. And we put it in the fermenter. And then destroyed your house. And, yeah, <laughs> well, we put it in the fermenter. I had to decorate the bathroom since. Uh, we had a you know, downstairs shower, which we weren't really using, to be fair, but wasn't ideal. And threw the yeast in, just left it for a couple of days, went back, I don't know, a day and a half, two days later, and the it was a very active fermentation, and it had thrown all the, um, all the star sand that we put inside the airlock. Out through the air, like right. just sprayed all up the wall. Did that happened while you were looking at it, or did it happen just it was, randomly? It was still going on when I eventually made it into the room, <laughs> just sort of pulsating away, just <laughs> pumping dark, very poor. That's part of the fun, you've got to break a few eggs when you make an omelette, as they yeah, say. I think so, yeah. Um, um, but I didn't do anything about it, I didn't, I didn't sort of take the airlock off and sanitize everything, clean it all up, then refill, you know, put more star sand inside. I just left it, and that's obviously the worst thing I could do because anything can obviously. Get inside through. through so the that beer was the, pretty crap then, basically. Yeah, is what we're saying here. Yeah, um, we still tried it. We still kegged it after that. Um, so we're still hopeful. Uh, young and naive, or two years younger, and naive, and um, yeah, we kegged it. Tried. Uh, I think Josh he had a, a sip. Decided he wasn't having any more. I we've got a video of that, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We, have, we yeah. might drop that video in. <laughs> it's a bit heady. <laughs> oh, look at that. It always it said as well that the first pint is probably going to be shit. Okay. Sling that away then. Um, hey? Oh yeah. Hey? Well done, well done. What do you think, hey? Just like pouring a Guinness. <laughs> it's actually that bad. Oh, it's not great. <laughs> I don't think that's that bad. It's not. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> the aftertaste. <laughs> Rusty nail. <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> well, I, I insist on having a full pint. Right. And then I was on well for about. You had a, a whole pint? Yeah, yeah. And tasted... As I was saying, I, I'm the brains of the operation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tasted horrendous. It's the hands. Um, it tasted horrendous, but I insist on having a pint just. So I've had a pint of my nah, own. I won't be doing any of that. No. And uh, yeah, I was ill for I don't know, about a month afterwards, I reckon. Nice. Just not, not ill, C ill. But congratulations, you're a horse's ass. <laughs> yeah. um, what about bigger success then? Obviously, we, uh, we've already spoken about the, uh, the chalkboard yeah, fame. Yeah, they're all quite old, though. I've not dated the, the chalkboard fame for a while. But we've got high hopes for the milk stout. Yeah, the milk stout, definitely. That's um, uh, maturing nicely at the moment. Yeah, we've done a few others. Um, we did a, an American style parallel, not the one that's on there, another one. Um, it's like a clove recipe of a Camden parallel. Mm hmm. Which I was really happy about. That's so does that stand out as your biggest yeah, success? That's, that's yet? Either that one or the uh, the Pushkin Panther, <laughs> the Russian Imperial, uh, nine point five percent Russian Imperial. Yeah, style that, that that one was excellent. Hmm, yeah, I have to say, it, like, yeah. may say so myself. Hmm. Um, so in 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 terms of the future, then obviously we've already said that the the, the Brew Bros channel will uh, will be an overnight sensation and, and will inspire a whole new generation of home brewers. I mean, that's a given. That's a given. Yeah. Um, but the future in terms of your brewing, where do you where 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 do you want to where do you want to see it over the next couple of years? Um, I don't know, really just I suppose refine my craft, um, our craft. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, I'm still learning massively. There, it's it's kind of overwhelming when you first start out how much there is to learn and mm -hmm. it's just and you don't really know where to start so I just sort of focused on every time I brew I try and figure out something that I could have done better I try and focus on that how to make that better on the next brew okay um, be it from you know the actual mashing process the boiling process the the, the fermenting process mm -hmm. there's so many different vari variables different yeasts like you said earlier on 
Uh, one day I decided to improve my yeast knowledge, so I bought a, <laughs> a microscope and a hemocytometer and was counting yeast cells. And he just said a whole load of stuff I don't understand. Yeah, well, we'll go into that another day. Um, yeah, pretty much just trying to make the best beer I possibly can, really. Um, okay. Um, do I you know what? Along the way, I think we're going to have some laughs. God. <laughs> the humour? Yeah. yeah. Which part would you be? <laughs> the humour. I've already told you, on the brain, <laughs> your hand. Thank you, Amsterdam. Good night. <laughs> Let's get tanked.